When a castle belonging to a king labeled as mentally ill becomes an emblem of joy and entertainment the way this one has, then there must be some mystery in campfire stories surrounding it. And we are all about that. Join us in today's video as we delve into the untold story of the castles of Mad King Ludwig. The next time you visit a beautiful historical place, please remember to tread gently, for you might not know what's underneath your feet. John Webster puts it this way, I do love these ancient ruins. We never tread upon them, but we set our foot upon some reverend history. King Ludwig Castle stands on the site of two smaller castles whose ruins made what we see today. They were cleared in 1868 to lay the foundations of the Neuschwanstein. The memories of those ruins have vanished into the mist of time and the silence of the dark. Maybe they were lost because they lacked the grandeur and charm of the fairy tale castle of Ludwig. But we will share some of their stories here with you in a bit. The Mad King Why do you think Ludwig was nicknamed the Mad King? Calling him delusional may be a bit harsh. Ludwig was simply a dreamer. Unfortunately, kings are not expected to be merely dreamers, but realistic and practical. Since he can find himself in the club of the realists, he was described as mad. He wasn't only referred to as mad but also as the fairy tale king. And the justification. Ludwig was a prodigy of extravagance. He usually spent all his cut of the royal revenues on projects, borrowed extensively, and defied all attempts by his ministers to hold him back. His extravagance was an untamed horse, a horse that will kick him in the face in the future. We will shed some light on that just before we conclude the video. It was as a result of this behavior he was declared insane, an accusation that has since come under scrutiny to verify its merits. Ludwig was not going to allow a lack of money to stand between him and his dreams. Did you know that if you hit the subscribe button now, you'd be the first to access our next exciting video like this one? Do that now. The Castle Ruins Schwango the old fortress, which received its first mention in 12th century historical archives, was one of the ruins King Ludwig Castle stands atop today. Accounts suggest that this fortress was Ministeriales of the Welfs, a European dynasty that included many German and British monarchs from the 11th to 20th century and Emperor Ivan VI of Russia in the 18th century. The Hoven Schwangau or the Upper Schwangau Castle, the second castle, was also first mentioned in 1397, but under a different name, Schwanstein. Ludwig spent most of his childhood in the Hoven Schwangau Castle, which was a medieval-inspired architecture with decorations from legends and poetry. So when he became king, his fantasy drove him to build the new Hoven Schwangau Castle, a better version of the Hoven Schwangau, which is currently known as the Neuschwanstein Castle. You can watch this video on mysteries behind Neuschwanstein Castle, Ultimate Fairy Tale Castle Neuschwanstein Castle, an anticlimax. The happily ever after King Ludwig may have envisioned in his dream world would be cut short. King Ludwig, unfortunately, passed on before his creation was fully completed. The project, which was scheduled to be completed in three years, dragged on almost forever, 12 years to be precise. Ludwig finally moved into the uncompleted castle in 1884. Many setbacks delayed the construction of this magnificent edifice. As if that was not enough, the castle raked a massive sum of debt, as high as 7 million Deutsche Mark. This was the extravagance he was advised against. The Mad King just wouldn't listen to anyone. The castle was open to the public to help pay the huge sums of debt he left behind. He should have learned to tame his horse indeed a world wonder. Okay, so riddle time. I am one of the most popular castles in Europe, Bavaria, Germany, to be precise. The Alps is my home. Who am I? If your answer was King Ludwig Castle, I am sorry, you are right. King Ludwig Castle is one of Europe's busiest tourist sites. The castle welcomes a mammoth 1.5 million people per year. With so much to see, who wouldn't like to go and see the castle which inspired Walt Disney's logo, the famous Cinderella film, and the love story of Sleeping Beauty. It isn't surprising the castle found itself on the tentative German list for a future designation as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The Mad King Ludwig Castle deserves it. Give us a thumbs up if you just added King Ludwig Castle to 
to your next tourist destination. Until our next video, remain zen.